So, uh, let's see. Back up. It's the tangent of what? 120 mm -hmm. plus tangent of 45 over 1 minus tangent of 120 times tangent of 45. All right, good. Okay, Berkeley, fill in the numbers for me. It's one minus, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. that's what I'll put. Oh, okay. So I'll change that. India Hill, come to the office, please. India Hill. All right. Okay. Yeah, you can put it in the office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's negative square root of three plus one over one plus the square root of three. Those aren't the same. There we go. Okay. All right. Suppose sine is that, and the other, well, sine of theta is three fifths, sine of alpha is five thirteenths. Additionally, the tangent is positive. Oh, tangent of theta is positive, and tangent of alpha is negative. Draw angles theta and alpha, labeling the reference triangle, and find the values of, and then it gives you all that stuff. Okay. So let's start with theta. Okay, it tells us that the sine of theta is 3 over 5, and the tangent of theta is positive. So if we're looking at all students take calculus, which quadrant is both sine and tangent positive. Okay, there's tangent positive. Okay, I mean oh, okay. One. one. So uh, theta is in the first quadrant, right? Do you see why? Yeah. Oh, okay. So theta is here. There's my reference angle. It's theta is the actual angle. Um, and I know sine is three fifths. So let me label the sides opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse. Which one's three? Opposite. Opposite. Which one's five? Hypotenuse, because it's so Katoa. So do you know what adjacent is? Where? Yeah, it's three, four, five triangle. If you didn't know, you could do the Pythagorean theorem and figure it out. Now we also have to do alpha. Okay, all students take calculus. Alpha is positive, so sine is positive, and tangent is negative. So what quadrant is sine positive but tangent negative? The second quadrant. So angle alpha is here-ish. So my reference angle is here. And we have opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. What is the opposite side? And what's the other side that you know? Hypotenuse, which is 13. Does anybody know what the adjacent is? That is a special right triangle, but we may not be as familiar with that. 5 squared plus x squared equals 13 squared. Track 25. Now what's that? 12. And since it's going to the left, it's negative 12. Okay, so 5, 12, 13 is a special right triangle also. 
So we're supposed to find the sine of theta plus alpha. So look back at your functions, at the formula for sine of two things added together. How would I rewrite that, Cameron? <laughs> my <laughs> sine of theta plus alpha, I want to rewrite that using sine and, and cosine. So go back to page 648 and find that sine formula for two added together. And it's sine of what? Sine of theta has the cosine of alpha plus the cosine of uh, theta times sine of alpha. There you go. So we know what the sine of theta is. It's three fifths. Um, cosine of alpha, what's that? Very good. Cosine of theta, we need that one as well. That's it, yep. And the sine of alpha was given to us as 5 thirteenths. Now, let's see, resist the urge to cross cancel because you want a common denominator. You're not going to have a common denominator if you cancel those fives. So you get negative 36 over whatever 5 times 13 is. Let's see, 13 plus 5, 65. Plus half times half, 20 over 65. Common denominator. What's negative 36 plus 20? There you go. That doesn't reduce. There's our answer. So we can figure that out without even knowing what the angle was. Actually, I'll do that one. your answers when you get done. Make sure everybody got the same thing. You can fix it if you didn't.
looking back at the cosine seven difference identities. Cosine theta times cosine alpha plus sine theta times cosine alpha. Plus sine theta sine alpha. Yep. Yeah. Oh, hang on a second. Sorry. I'm waiting for them to. No, I want you to keep doing what you're doing. That's great. No, you're fine if you. I was talking to them, too. I was just like, all right. And then no, I, I think I got mine. It should be negative 33 over 65. That's the bit I just looked at. I got it. And then I'll plug it in. I got 4 over 5 for cosine theta. And then times that by cosine alpha is negative 4 over 13. Plus 3 over 5 times 5 over 13. Okay, let's stop there. Okay, did you get those numbers? 